Good evening. We jump out to a fast start in sports tonight. Cayman's drivers stood up well to Jamaican opposition at Breaker Speedway yesterday. Led by Sammy Jackson, the local contingent hold off a strong Jamaican charge on an exciting day of racing up east. I suspect this, not, this is not over yet. Local race car driver Sammy Jackson reacts to his race over Jamaican Dean Shaw that stole the show at the Breakers Raceway meet on Sunday. It was billed as a clash between Cayman's best and Jamaica's finest. And the Jamaican contingent got something to cheer about when Robert Ilner, in his blue RX-7, set a new record in the six-second street class, edging Cayman's Kenrick Baker. On the bikes, Dante Ross Hides on his Suzuki also set a new track record. The hundreds of spectators had seen their share by that point and they waited anxiously for the much talked about showdown between Shaw in his rampaging 1960s Camaro and Cayman's own Sammy Jackson. Tense moments as the two big Camaro machines lined up. Jackson is on the left of your screen. pressure you know I, I got in trouble in the middle I, I felt it slipping a bit and I, I, I started to ease up and I said no all right very good very good and the, the car the car hooked very good it's just you know Sammy Jackson was the toast of the fans while Shaw you'll have to try again despite all the power on show no car was able to reset the track record held by Buck Banks and that was a fantastic day of racing at Breaker Speedway. Mr. Campbell was very happy with the turnout as well. From the fast track at Breakers to some football action now. And the first semi-final leg in the Digicel Cup is in the bag. And Scholars International and Roma have their noses out front after the first leg. Defending champs Georgetown suffer a 1-0 loss to the Scholars last night at the Annex thanks to a second half goal by O'Neill Taylor. In the first match on the evening, Roma needed this late goal coming up right here from Leon Atkinson to get by East End 2-1. The score was locked at 1-1 at the halftime break, but Roma edge out in the race to the Ash Wednesday final. We are giving too much the ball away and we have to work that East End to players make the pass properly. I'm sure that we can do better next time. They are more focused on winning this year Cup as that is what they love. We get the guys together to get back to focus on, on, on the, the game of football. The second leg of the semifinals is scheduled for February 13th. It's at the Annex, so these games are really, really heating up. Give me a B! B! Give me an A! A! Give me a Y! Y! And what do you got when you're right on <laughs> The soccer moms from Red Bay were in full voice on Saturday at the primary school football playoffs at the Annex. In the Under-19 Championship Cup semis, Prospects in the blue came from behind to get by Red Bay 2-1, so the moms weren't very happy at the end of the day. They move on to face St. Ignatius in the final. St. Ignatius in the purple get by a spirited Georgetown primary match, pr primary team in a marathon match. This is the under-11s as well. After full time and the first round of penalties, neither side could find the back of the net. But the St. Ignatius boys come through in the sudden death penalty, so it is St. Ignatius and uh, Prospect in the final. In the under nines, St. Ignatius and Cayman Prep move on to the final, so St. Ignatius continues to be a force to be reckoned with in under 9, under 11 football. And all those finals and third place matchups will be this coming Saturday at the Annex from 9 a.m.